Hello, here we are at the Alligators Farm. This is one of the touristic places that you can visit if you come to Moron, if you come to Cayo Coco. This is one of the places that the excursion will take you. This is a place where they raise, as you can see, crocodiles. And you can actually interact with them. They are in captivity, but they take care of them. They have in different tanks. It depends on the size, it depends on the, um, the years, if they are babies, all of them are separated. So here you're going to find uh, all kinds, you can feed the crocodiles as well, and you can hold it right there, if you want. This one is only two years, which is not big for two years, I think, which is cute. And they take a lot of time to grow. What do you think about the skin? Soft. Yeah, pretty much. Here, of course. <laughs> no, but it, actually it's not too bad. When, look, right mm -hmm. here, you can touch it. It's not that rough like I thought it would be. This one is only two years, so it's pretty much like a baby, but they have some other like 17 years. Tienen de 17, no? Here you can see the babies. And you can see they tie them out. But they they no, I don't know where they, they tie them out but they don't get they don't hurt them. This is just for safety. They take a long time to open the mouth, but the strength and the judges absolutely destroy it. And it's not bad. They're pretty quiet. They don't make any sound. I will hold this. I will never hold a big one. Don't play with this at home. <laughs> Gracias. So now we can go to this tank over here. Some of the tourists, when they come, they can't even feed them. I am not feel very attractive about it. I'm attracted about to look at them, but not share with them too much. Not too close. If you're lucky, we can see them because they spend a long time in the water. Oh, nice. yes. We got a big one. Mm. Nice. As you can see, we have walls, concrete walls, just for safety. They have over 100, maybe more, in here. Yeah, it's all natural, they don't, you see? This one is waiting to see if he eats something, huge mouth. In this place, you can have lunch if you want, you can get drinks and stuff like that. At feeding time, all of them will come at once, they're like babies. Because they know when the time comes and all of them, they're going to be right here. Small. Most of these ones are like between 17 and 25 years old. So this tank is for adults. They have another tank for babies. They have another, ta another tank for pregnant because they raise them and they take care of them right here. And it's very quiet because right now the place where the farm is located, it's countryside. We are close to one of the biggest uh, natural reserves here in Cuba, which is La Loma de Cunagua. There is some other excursion that goes there. You're going to be right away 100% with nature and you're going to get to know a lot of uh, our... Uh, some of the animals, they are just from Cuba. We have a few species there belong just to Cuba. And it's beautiful. You can see cotorras, the parrots, all in natural habitat. In Cuba, we take that very seriously. We like to, we take care of the animals. We we try to keep the natural habitat. We don't touch it. We give them into the space. Very good. And there's another place where you can go if you come as a tourist. Okay, you're It's impressive. It is impressive. 
You're gonna jump? I'm not gonna jump. The good thing about them is they don't make noise. I like that. La fuerza que esos animales tienen son como 70 libras en la mandíbula, ¿no? Sí, es una fuerza increíble. They just weigh them. They just fed them and keep them. Do they take them back to nature? Sometimes. Yeah. But they will, they will move them from here to another place. Because I know the numbers are dropping, usually. Yeah, but here they keep them and they yeah. just keep them and like keep them. Pets. Yeah. Them so that's why they were appreciated because they know food is coming.